The wind whispered mournfully as Sarah's funeral procession made its way to the cemetery. Sarah had been a well-known figure in the small town, known for her love of horses and her gentle soul. Her passing had come as a shock to everyone, but perhaps no one was more devastated than her loyal horse, Bella. Sarah's love for horses had been instilled in her from a young age. She grew up on her family's ranch, surrounded by horses of all shapes and sizes. She spent her childhood days riding, grooming, and caring for the horses with unwavering passion. But among all the horses, one had captured her heart, a beautiful chestnut mare with a white star on her forehead whom she had named Bella. Bella and Sarah had been inseparable since the day she first laid eyes on her. Bella had been a young foal, full of energy and curiosity, and Sarah had taken on the responsibility of training her with patience and care. They had formed an unbreakable bond over the years, spending countless hours together exploring the countryside, participating in local horse shows, and simply enjoying each other's company. As Sarah grew older, her love for Bella only deepened. They had developed a mutual understanding and trust that went beyond words. Bella was not just a horse to Sarah, but she was her confidant, her companion, and her best friend. Bella, in turn, was fiercely loyal to Sarah, always looking out for her and providing comfort in times of need. Sarah's love for Bella was evident in every aspect of her life. She had dedicated her time and resources to ensuring that Bella was well taken care of, providing her with the best veterinary care, nutritious food, and comfortable stables. She had even taught Bella various tricks and commands, showcasing their strong bond and the level of trust they shared. But tragedy struck unexpectedly when Sarah fell ill and passed away suddenly, leaving Bella heartbroken. As Sarah's funeral took place, Bella stood at the edge of the cemetery, watching the proceedings with a somber expression. She seemed to understand the gravity of the situation, and her eyes reflected the pain and sorrow that she felt at the loss of her beloved owner. As the funeral concluded and Sarah's casket was lowered into the ground, Bella refused to leave. She stood near the grave, her head lowered and her eyes fixed, on the spot where her owner was laid to rest. The mourners were moved by Bella's unwavering loyalty and devotion, as she stood there for hours, unwilling to move from the spot. Eventually, Sarah's closest friends and family decided to bring Bella back to the ranch, hoping that being in familiar surroundings would help ease her grief. But Bella had other plans. She kept whinnying and pacing around the ranch, displaying signs of distress. She refused to eat or drink, and it was evident that she was not going to rest until she found closure. One day, while Bella was restlessly roaming the ranch, she stumbled upon an old shed that Sarah had used as a workshop. Instinctively, Bella approached the shed and started pawing at the door, as if trying to get inside. The ranch hands, intrigued by Bella's behavior, decided to investigate. They pried open the old wooden door, and what they found inside left them in shock. Sarah's casket, which had been buried in the shed, was partially open. It appeared as though Bella had somehow sensed Sarah's presence and was trying to reach her. Hesitantly, the ranch hands decided to fully open the casket, and what they saw left them in awe. Sarah's body was peacefully resting inside, surrounded by her favorite flowers and a picture of Bella. It was as if Sarah had taken her love for her horse with her to the grave. Bella nuzzled Sarah's lifeless body, whinnying softly as if bidding her a final farewell. The ranch hands were stunned and moved by the sight before them. It was clear that Bella's unwavering loyalty and love for Sarah had led her to discover her resting place. The bond between Sarah and Bella was so strong that even in death, Bella had found her way to her beloved owner. As the news of Bella's discovery spread, it quickly gained attention from the local community and beyond. People were amazed by the incredible relationship between Sarah and Bella, and the story captured the hearts of many. News outlets picked up the heartwarming tale, and soon it became a viral sensation, touching the lives of people all around the world. Sarah's funeral was attended by a large gathering of people who had heard about the remarkable story of Bella's devotion. As Sarah was laid to rest once again, this time in a proper burial plot, Bella stood by, her eyes filled with sadness. She whinnied softly as Sarah's casket was lowered into the ground, and then she nudged it gently with her nose, as if saying her final goodbye. In the days that followed, Bella's behavior continued to captivate everyone. 
She refused to leave Sarah's gravesite, often seen standing vigilantly near the tombstone. The ranch hands, recognizing Bella's deep bond with Sarah, decided to let her stay at the cemetery, as it seemed to provide her with some solace. Months went by, and Bella became a permanent fixture at the cemetery. She was well taken care of by the ranch hands, who brought her food and water, and she made sure she had shelter from the elements. Bella spent her days grazing peacefully near Sarah's grave, occasionally nuzzling the tombstone as if seeking comfort. Bella's story touched the hearts of many, and visitors from near and far came to the cemetery to see her. People were amazed by her loyalty and the depth of her bond with Sarah. Many left flowers and tokens of appreciation for Bella, and she became a symbol of unwavering love and devotion. One day, a young girl named Emily visited the cemetery with her family. Emily had always been fascinated by horses and had heard about Bella's story. She was determined to meet the legendary horse who had captured the hearts of so many. As Emily approached Sarah's grave, Bella lifted her head and looked at her with curious eyes. Emily was in awe of Bella's beauty and presence. She approached Bella cautiously, and to her amazement, Bella allowed her to come close. Emily reached out her hand, and Bella nuzzled it gently, as if sensing the young girl's love for horses. From that day on, Emily visited Bella regularly at the cemetery. She would bring her carrots and apples and spend hours sitting with her, sharing stories about her own love for horses. It was clear that Bella had found a new companion in Emily, and the two formed a special bond. Moved by Bella's story and her deep connection with Sarah, Emily's family decided to take Bella in and provide her with a forever home. They sought permission from the authorities and worked out the logistics of relocating Bella from the cemetery to their ranch. The news of Bella's adoption spread quickly, and it was met with overwhelming support and appreciation from the community. On the day of Bella's relocation, the cemetery was filled with people who had come to bid her farewell. Tears were shed as Bella was gently led away from Sarah's grave, but it was clear that this was a new beginning for her. Emily's family had prepared a spacious paddock for Bella, complete with a comfortable stable and ample grazing land. Bella was welcomed with open arms and she quickly settled into her new home. Over time, Bella and Emily formed an unbreakable bond. Emily spent hours with Bella, grooming her, riding her, and simply enjoying her company. Bella responded with the same unwavering loyalty and affection that she had shown to Sarah. She had found a new purpose in life, and Emily cherished every moment spent with her. As the years passed, Bella became a beloved member of Emily's family. She was known far and wide as the horse who had come to her owner's funeral and had captured the hearts of millions. She was even featured in news articles and television segments, sharing her incredible story of loyalty and love. Despite her fame, Bella remained humble and gentle, always putting Emily's needs and happiness first. The bond between them grew stronger with each passing day, and they shared countless adventures together. They competed in local horse shows, went on long trail rides, and even participated in charity events to raise awareness for animal welfare causes. One day, Emily received an invitation to compete in a prestigious equestrian event. It was a dream come true for her, but it meant she would have to be away from Bella for several weeks. Emily was torn between her passion for riding and her love for Bella, but ultimately she decided to accept the invitation. As Emily prepared for the event, Bella sensed that something was amiss. She watched Emily pack her bags and load her horse trailer with a heavy heart. She whinnied softly and nuzzled Emily's shoulder as if trying to comfort her. Emily assured Bella that she would be back soon and promised to bring her back something special. The days passed and Bella missed Emily dearly. She would stand at the fence looking out through the horizon, hoping to catch a glimpse of Emily's trailer returning, but as the weeks went by, there was no sign of Emily. One day, Emily's family received a phone call that changed everything. Emily had been involved in a serious accident during the equestrian event and was in the hospital with critical injuries. Her family rushed to her side, leaving Bella behind at the ranch. Bella was devastated. She paced restlessly in her paddock, neighing loudly as if calling out for Emily. She refused to eat or drink, and her once vibrant coat dulled. The ranch hands did their best to care for her, but Bella's heart was heavy with worry for Emily. Weeks went by, and Emily's condition remained critical. Bella's health began to deteriorate, and it seemed like she had lost her will to live. The ranch hands were desperate to help her, but nothing seemed to bring Bella back to her former self. 
One day, as Bella stood by the fence staring off into the distance, she heard a familiar voice. It was Emily's voice, weak but unmistakable. Bella's ears perked up, and she turned towards the sound, her heart pounding with hope. Emily had finally regained consciousness, and her family had brought her back to the ranch to continue recovery. When Emily saw Bella, her eyes lit up with joy, and she weakly called out to her. Bella whinnied loudly in response and raced towards Emily, nuzzling her gently. It was a tearful reunion, and Bella's spirits lifted instantly. She stayed by Emily's side, providing her with comfort and companionship during her long road to recovery. Emily was determined to get back on her feet, and Bella was her constant source of motivation and support. With Bella by her side, Emily made a remarkable recovery. Her injuries healed, and she gradually regained her strength. She was back in the saddle before long, and Bella was eager as ever to be ridden by her and her beloved owner. Bella's unwavering love and loyalty towards her owner, both in life and even after her passing, is a beautiful example of the unconditional bond that can exist between humans and animals. Bella's determination to be with Emily, even during her funeral, shows the depth of their connection and the profound impact that animals can have on our lives. The story highlights the importance of building meaningful relationships with animals and how these relationships can bring joy, comfort, and purpose into our lives. Emily's deep love for horses from a young age and her special bond with Bella over the years exemplifies how strong connections can be formed with animals and the positive impact these relationships can have on our well-being. The story also showcases Emily's resilience in the face of adversity. Despite facing setbacks and challenges, including the accident during the equestrian event, Emily's determination to recover and get back on her feet was fueled by her love for Bella. It serves as a reminder of the strength and resilience we can find within ourselves during difficult times when we have something or someone we deeply care about to support us.